Hey, it's me, Crane, and this is a pure dog sh That was a savage intro, Lamau. <laughs> Okay, that was fun, man. Never mind. So today we're gonna talk about different microphone choices for your budget slash beginner streaming or YouTube setup. Now, if you're like, why crazy? Why are you making this kind of videos? There's obviously a dislike button over there. Now, before we proceed further, I just want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. So today's video is sponsored by me. So today's whole sh so discussion about this topic is mainly based on four points type price upgradability and overall user experience now basically there are two types of wired studio microphones one is xlr and another is usb mic now xlr stands for extra large rat rat shit bat shit dirty old twat 69 assholes tied in a knot hooray lizard shit. Never mind. XLR stands for extreme line return, which means passing of large electrical current cleanly. Which basically means it requires a separate device called audio interface to function properly. Hence, it's an expensive solution but comes with huge upgradability and customizability. On the other hand, there are other type of microphones called USB microphone, which is basically plug and play is a lot hassle free and other stuff, but lacks upgradability and customizability. So, which simply leads us to the vast price wise choices of microphones here. Now, if you want a microphone solution in very dirt cheap price, like 600 rupees or 700 rupees, you can always buy a caller microphone or you can go with a gaming headphone microphone. But in both cases, you will need a noise cancellation software to get good audio out of it. RTX voice, if you can turn it on, and it sounds like this. Or just throwing up a noise cancellation filter in your Streamlabs or OBS Studio. Now, if you have a budget of 2000 rupees, you can go with Red Gear Cosmos 7.1 or other similar gaming headphones like this. Trust me, this is the best budget microphone solution you can ever have because I personally have it. I still use it and this, you know, it's, it's a good combo of headphones and microphone. Now, some people complain about low output from it, but you can simply throw a gain filter on it in Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio and crank it up a bit to fix that. Oh god, that was hard. Now in case you already have a decent gaming headphone and you're looking for a dedicated microphone with this this kind of stand, in this price, you can go for Red Gear Sado Vox or other USB microphone kits in this range like this, this, this and that. Now wait, there's a catch. You will see a lot of XLR microphones in this range with a, with kits which comes with a XLR to, you know, 3.5mm converter cable, whatever. But trust me, this is a dog sh I'm living example like I literally suffered one freaking year until I finally bought the audio interface to make this microphone useful when you try to connect this XLR microphone with 3.5 mm jack into your motherboard in the back of your PC it simply you know uses the motherboard's audio card I mean sound card whatever you say and that sound card is not that good and it can't able to cancel all the noises this microphone needs a phantom voltage like extra 48 voltage which that sound card can't supply even though you try to cut cut these noises through streamlabs noise filter it sounds way bad it's like pressure cooker uh, it's gonna be soon i'm gonna be streaming on that day it's uh, like i don't know. your sound is coming like pressure cooker yeah 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 Now, if your budget is 6,000 rupees, you can go with the Razer Kraken X or Razer Black Shark gaming headphones, where you will get an awesome gaming headphone with a decent microphone in that range, which can be a good combo for you. But on the other hand, if you're searching for a dedicated microphone, you can buy HyperX Solo Quad. <laughs> You can buy HyperX Solocast, Quad Quadcast, uh, or other like JBL casting USB microphone. You know, all of them are awesome plug and play USB microphones you can go with. On the other hand, if you're thinking for an XLR setup in the 6000 rupees price, I would not recommend that because in that case, you have to buy a cheap audio interface with a cheap uh, XLR microphone. So when you're going to combine them, that's not going to be a good combination and that's not going to be a wise choice for your future investment. 
Now, if your budget is 20,000 rupees, that's a sweet point. Now, in this price range, you can either go with a premium USB microphone or you can build yourself a fancy, nice, decent XLR microphone setup. Now, if you want to go with a USB microphone, you can buy Elgato Wave 3 premium microphone, which is, you know, which is a pretty decent, I mean, which is awesome. You can also go with Rode NT-USB Mini Studio microphones, Rode NT-USB Condenser microphones, or Sure Podcast microphones, and Blue Yeti Podcast microphones, and that. Now, in this price range, if you're thinking to build yourself a nice, fancy, decent XLR microphone setup, first of all, you will need a decent audio interface, not those 5,000 rupees or 8,000 rupees cheap audio interface. I, I don't trust them. As an entry-level best audio interface, you can buy Focusrite Scarlett Solo, which comes like like uh, 10k or 16k something like that and it's hugely popular and the best budget friendly audio interface you can ever have like for a long lasting time now once you get your hands on that audio interface you can simply pair it up with nice xlr microphones available in the market like uh, sur <laughs> Like this, 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 awesome various types of XLR microphones you can pair it up and even in future you can throw up a 40,000 rupees microphone with that audio interface. And that's why in this price range your choice matters. Either you can have a $200 which is around 16k Elgato Wave 3 premium USB microphone or you can have a decent XLR microphone setup which consists of a decent audio interface and a decent XLR condenser microphone. Now Elgato Wave 3 Premium USB microphone comes with an awesome professional audio quality so as the Blue Yeti and other Rode uh, podcast USB microphones and a lot of streamers uses them. But imagine in near future you want to push your audio quality further a bit then you have to buy a new microphone and, and your old microphone will be useless so you have to in do an another investment from zero. Now on the other hand in this price range if you build yourself an XLR microphone setup you will always have your pretty nice awesome audio interface with you always now in the near future if you want to push your audio quality a further a bit all you need to do is swap your original microphone and that's it you can even throw a sur sm7b in with that decent audio interface and that will work just perfect buying an audio interface will always be a genius investment that than that but if you have money then you can do every anything you want which leads us to my setup now when i bought this xlr microphone as i told i thought oh man i i made a mistake i i did this wrong but last year you guys supported a lot and that's how i finally managed to afford a focusrite scarlet solo when i hooked this microphone with that audio interface like i am talking in this microphone which is not that good but it's pretty decent than my my, you know previous quality like those pressure cooker voices so i already spent 13,000 rupees in my audio setup so as my setup is xlr microphone setup in few in near future i can buy a sure podcast xlr microphone which a lot of streamers have and, and throw it up with my uh, focus right scholar solo audio interface and that will give me an awesome audio quality and i don't have to put that much money that i which i had to put if i had used usb microphone so that's all i had to share with you in this video today if you found this video helpful or enjoyable drop a like if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell on the other hand if i'm being annoying to you just drop a dislike button just drop a dislike and hit the subscribe button it's your choice your will your choice your world <laughs> and that's it See you in the next video. Till then, good night, good luck, stay human, and happy new year. There's a lot more to come. Enjoy. Rat shit, bat shit, dirty old twat. 69 assholes tied in a knot. Hooray! Lizard shit. <laughs>